What's up YouTube, it's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. I hope everybody is doing great. If not, I hope it gets better for you. I really do. This is a 125 gallon tank that I currently have and it is currently stocked with some big and decent sized fish. I do want to make a few changes in this aquarium and that's what this video is about. But before I explain to you guys what this video is about and what I'm going to do in this video, I want to do a quick recap of what fish are in this aquarium. So I do have a few fish in here that I've had for a while. Like this bicher here this bicher is one of my most vicious pets in this aquarium and i had no idea that he was such a savage until recently this is a clip of when i first got him i got him from a craigslist person and he was getting rid of all of his fish because he was i believe upgrading i can't remember at the time and i managed to snag a few of his fish including the bicher this is my veil oscar that i love very dearly he is very personable loves to eat loves to respond to my hand when it's feeding time which means whenever I put my hand above the aquarium he quickly goes up and waits for me to feed him this is him when he was small when he was younger he did have a lot of that gold coloration on him but as he got older that started to fade away nonetheless he is still a stunning fish and I absolutely love this guy and hopefully you guys like him too he seems to be doing very well in this aquarium and this is my Sun Eclipse catfish now this catfish i actually got about two months ago i've never seen him eat i've never seen him not hiding i think he's mainly active when i'm not around that has to be it because the only time i see him is when he's dashing through the aquarium when he's frightened and he's always hiding he loves to hide this is when i first got him and he looked totally different and this was the only time that I've seen him out in plain sight where he seemed very comfortable and he had a lot of weight on him he's not as active as my other catfish this is my other catfish that I also love very dearly he is wild caught and this is a gold perch that I actually caught from a lake he is also wild caught and this is my gold angelfish I have about five angelfish in here and you might be thinking why would you have angel fish with these aggressive fish this is just temporary i recently just moved and i'm still setting up aquariums and also the 75 gallon tank is currently stocked with a fish that will absolutely kill these angel fish so until i get that guy moved which is the dovi that you see right here. Then I can go ahead and move my angelfish in here. I'll also move my ghost knife in here. And I'll also go ahead and redo this aquarium and just make it look really good again. But this dovi, I didn't really have them for too long. I did do my research before buying him. I just underestimated how aggressive he was going to be. He will absolutely fight almost any fish it doesn't matter how big the fish is if it's smaller that's bad if it's bigger he'll still put up a fight he probably won't be able to kill the bigger fish but he'll definitely do some damage i've seen him spar with my oscar a few times and it was not looking good for the oscar the oscar had so many ripped fins so never again never will i put a dovai in with other fish and these are my kissing garamis that i recently just got i made a video on these guys where i did a valentine themed aquarium and i really do do love these fish but I also explained in the video that I was not going to keep these guys I just wanted them for the video I did end up getting rid of them and that's what I'm going to be doing in this video I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of the fish in this uh, 125 gallon tank such as these tinfoil barbs right here I actually love these guys but it saddens me that I have to let them go I actually got these guys from a Petco I went to Petco one day and I saw these guys somebody had donated them to my local Petco and they were put up for adoption and I decided to take them in to try to give them a better life but now that they are in the 125 gallon tank they've been picked on by a lot of the other fish so I decided to get these fish and take them to my local fish store to trade them in for some store credit now I did go to my local fish store and they had some really cool fish so I had to decide between a lot of fish and some of the fish that caught my eye were these baby flag tails I've always wanted a flag tail fish and they've always appealed to me I've always wanted them uh, in my collection of 
a big fish in the 125 gallon tank and I saw this guy too which is a much bigger version of the smaller ones that you just saw but he was just way too pricey for me and I would be absolutely devastated if I ended up losing this fish somehow um, because that's just my luck sometimes is sometimes I get beautiful fish and of course it's always the big beautiful expensive ones that end up dying on me most of the time you know I might keep this fish for a year and then something tragic happens you know it's it's pretty much the inevitable with me but um, I was very tempted to get this guy but he was again he was very pricey like he was over three hundred dollars easily just tell me what you guys think would you guys have wanted me to get this fish if I had the funds let me know down in the comments down below uh, there was also some peacock bass, there was also some medium sized flag tail fish, but those fish were not big enough to be in the 125 gallon tank. They would be picked on by the other fish. Uh, there was also some, it looks like African uh, cichlids in there, I'm not too sure what those fish are. They didn't have the names up for those fish, but they're really beautiful. I like them. They're, there was also a clown knife in the tank that you're looking at right now um, I've always wanted a clown knife but I feel like too many people on YouTube have those fish so I decided not to go for that there was also these pike cichlids that I wanted to get but I didn't know too much about these fish and that one was rubbing its body up against the uh, glass floor there so I didn't know if it had ick or not so I didn't want to take the chance there was also these beautiful tiger shovel nose catfish but they were they are just way too small for the other catfish in my aquarium so I didn't want them to get eaten or anything like that and this is actually a really big African leaf fish I had no idea that they got this big and I've never seen one that big before so I really enjoyed looking at that fish and they just had a lot so what I ended up going with was a fish that I never thought I would have before and I ended up seeing this guy and this is called a African arowana fish and he is just a masterpiece he is beautiful the only thing that I don't like is that his fins are kind of nipped up it looked like the fish in there gave him a little bit of a hard time so I decided that when I bring him home I'm gonna go ahead and quarantine him in the 75 gallon tank because remember I had the dovi in there I ended up trading in the dovi and all the other fish uh, to get this fish this fish was actually eighty dollars and because of all the fish that I traded in I ended up getting him for a good price even though the arowana name is in this fish it's not a true arowana this is actually more closely related to a type of lungfish and the store owner told me that he was feeding this fish goldfish so that's why I decided to try to feed him but he wasn't having it he wasn't trying to eat you know it was his first day and I should have known better than try to feed him on his first day because like most new fish that I get the first uh, few days in the first few weeks they might not eat while he gets adjusted to his new home so I'm still gonna have to give him some time I will try to feed him some other foods um, such as like worms and frozen foods but then again I don't even think that'll do the trick right now I think right now he just needs to relax and just chill and just get used to his new home Alright guys, so it is two days later after I have gotten my African arowana. I've noticed that this guy, he really likes to relax on the substrate. I'm not sure why he hasn't gone for the goldfish yet. The goldfish have been in here for two days and he still hasn't eaten the goldfish. Again, most fish, when you bring them to their new home, it takes them you know five days to about a week possibly longer for them to start eating sometimes some fish will eat as soon as you take them home it just depends on the fish and how they were treated at the store and what the store owner was feeding them and how much they were feeding them so I'm gonna try feeding him some krill so I got some krill right here and I'm just gonna put one piece in there like this all right so here we go I'm just gonna drop it like right in front of them Hopefully he will go for that. Let's see what he does and nothing. Okay, so usually people or hobbyists when they put in food and the fish doesn't eat it, they will immediately take it out so it doesn't rot and dirty up the water. But I got so many snails in here 
that eventually they will find that piece of krill and they will eat it. So I'll just leave it in there. I also got a Placosimus in here. He will probably go for this stuff as well. So I'm going to give him about five days and hopefully he will start eating. Maybe I'll have to medicate him. I haven't been medicating him. I've actually ran out of medications. But here in the next few days, I will get some. Maybe he does have an internal parasite, so I will get him treated for that. But he doesn't seem to be sick or anything like that. Seems like he's just resting at the substrate, so I don't think he's sick. I think he just needs to get adjusted to this aquarium. But I got a lot of leftover krill, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and feed these guys. You guys haven't seen these guys eat in a while. And everybody's been doing fine. I do want to get some more fish in here, but I have to be very careful as to what new fish to add in here. Um, and when I say that, what I mean is I need to get some fish that are the same size as most of these fish and they need to be able to be resistant to the aggressiveness some of these fish will have towards other fish so i need to get some pretty strong fish i can't get any weak fish i'm surprised the angelfish haven't been getting into any trouble here but like i said in a previous video i'm not going to be keeping these angelfish in here uh, too long as soon as the african arowana is done being quarantined I'm going to go ahead and move the angelfish into the 75 gallon tank. I'm also going to aquascape the 75 gallon tank, make it just more pleasing to the eye and more appealing in general because uh, right now it's just very bland. I used to have a bunch of plants in here a while back and I think I'm going to get this tank planted again and just make it look really good like I used to, like a true master. But for right now, I'm just kind of... Ooh, easy there, buddy. Right now, I'm just kind of taking it easy. Uh, right now, I'm just feeding them krill one by one. So that way, when I throw the rest in here, the bigger fish, they'll be, you know, pretty much almost full and they won't bother going after the ones that fall on the floor. So that way, my bisher can get some, my lima catfish can get some, my ghost knife, my two other catfish in here, like my Sun Eclipse catfish, because these fish, they're not as fast and aggressive when it comes to feeding time as, the other, as these other guys. So these guys will end up getting the food before they do, and they pretty much won't eat. So that's why sometimes I have to put more food than I need to in this aquarium so that everybody gets a chance to eat. So the Lima catfish hasn't eaten anything yet, so I'm just going to go ahead just dump a good amount right on top of him and he will go for one there he goes and the bicer will too bicer just got one lima catfish is gonna get some some more all right so i'm gonna spread the rest of these out i'm gonna dump some here and i'm also gonna dump some here because i actually have a prawn shrimp you can barely see his tail right there underneath the rock um that's still here since the move. Eventually he's gonna get his own tank. But his tank is not ready yet. So I'm gonna dump some there and hopefully he can grab one. So yeah, everybody's doing okay. I just need to do another water change in this aquarium because the sun eclipse catfish, he likes to dirty up this tank constantly. And that's because of the substrate here. He gets really skittish sometimes especially when I turn off all the lights and he'll just dash through the aquarium just getting all that nastiness out of the substrate out into the water column it's really annoying so what I'm gonna do is the next time I do a water change I'm gonna go ahead and just take out all of the substrate and I'm gonna take out these rocks as well and I'm just gonna go with a bare bottom tank and the only thing that I'm gonna have in here is uh, some PVC pipes I'm also gonna clean these PVC pipes as well get get rid of all the uh, algae that's in here I'm also going to move the black ghost knife into the 75 gallon tank as soon as the African arowana is done being quarantined so that's pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed the video please just smash the like button hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video take care guys peace out